Just in time for the holiday. Thank you, Patrick. It's now 602 with the toasty days. It's best to know how you should watch over your pets and to keep them cool as temperatures soar. And just as it is for people, the summer months can be very uncomfortable, even dangerous for pets. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez joins us live from Palm Desert right now. She's got more on how you can make sure your pet stays safe this summer. Hey, Crystal. Hey, good morning, Angela. I'm at Freedom Park Dog Park in Palm Desert, and these owners know you have to get outdoors before the heat kicks in and get your dog some exercise. Now, the Humane Society advises pet owners to limit exercise on hot days. This means adjusting the intensity of that exercise and the duration, depending on how hot it is. If you know the sun is going to be just beaming, bring your pet out in the early morning like these owners are. When it's not hot as hot, when it's not as hot or in the evening, the asphalt can be very dangerous during the day as it warms up. So you have to keep those little feet from burning. If it's too hot for the back of your hand, the pet shouldn't be walking on it. One pet owner says she always prepares her pups ahead of the hot days. You can get this chili shirt. There's something called chili shirt that you can freeze and put them on. They're, they're very thin. You can get them online and put them on the dogs to walk around. Um, the other thing is ch uh, chili pads. You can put down pads and if also you have a tile house that lay lay on that and also shave the hairy ones. That's that's what I do. Um, but mostly you just have to get out early in the morning. It's also important to hydrate your pet just like us. They can dehydrate and suffer from heat illnesses. It's important to cool your pet inside and out. Leave them in the shade. Don't rely on a fan to cool them down. A nice idea. Create popsicles for your dogs. Get them a cooling body wrap vest mat. Animals are particularly at risk for heat stroke if they are very old, very young, overweight, don't usually exercise or have heart or respiratory diseases. So be sure to watch out for your furry friends. It's super important. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll have more on some tips of how you can protect your pet as fireworks are going to be popped this weekend. Reporting in Palm Desert, Crystal Menez, News Channel 3. I tell you, the haircuts for the pups really help, especially my big German Shepherd. Thank you, Crystal. Well, what happened to the $10 million state grant the city of Palm Springs received to address the issue of homelessness? News Channel 3's Jake Gracia dug into that question now that it's officially cut ties with Well in the Desert. City leaders this morning say that the main focus on how to spend that $10 million is on finding permanent housing solutions and services to help end homelessness. Right now, there are several projects that some of that money has been allocated toward already, but none of them are fully underway. Our goal really is to get people into a program and out into permanent housing so they are no longer homeless. As the issue of homelessness compounds in the summer heat in Palm Springs, new questions arise about what the $10 million grant the city received last year from the state is being put toward. City leaders say they're focusing in on finding affordable solutions for housing. And so far, two projects have money earmarked from those funds. First, this proposed low-income development for seniors at Palm Canyon Drive and West Stevens Road, called Agave, with more than a third of the units expected to go toward the unhoused. And second, Vista Sunrise 2, apartments planned for the Desert AIDS Project campus on Sunrise Way. Between the two projects, Councilmember Jeff Kors says the city will commit land and spend a total of $7 million, $4 million of which is coming from the state-funded grant. He says those projects will leverage $60 million in state and federal funding. That leaves $6 million in state funding for the city to allocate. Kors says 3 to $4 million is expected to be used to partner with Riverside County for housing and services. Hopefully using modular units because it'll be a lot more cost effective. Well over 100 permanent units of housing with wraparound services and room for families as well as some transitional housing and a navigation center all on one site. Plus administrative expenses and costs of operation, and the $10 million is running out. And it could be some time before these solutions materialize. Affordable housing does take years to build, and that's why we want to do the modular project. We believe that, with the, and as does the county, we can get up very, very quickly. In the meantime, it's cooling centers and efforts from local organizations to help those experiencing homelessness try to keep cool during summer in the desert. 
And for the first time here in Palm Springs and anywhere in the West Valley, a 24 seven cooling center with homeless services is set to open here later this week at the United Methodist Church here on Alejo and Sunrise. That is county funded. It's going to be run by Martha's Village and is expected to have 30 to 40 beds. Jaden Gracia, News Channel 3, Palm Springs. Turning to coronavirus now, local health experts are concerned about the spread of the Delta variant. It comes as LA County now recommends mask wearing indoors, even if you are vaccinated. For now, Riverside County does not plan on making any changes to its masking policies or recommendations. I think here in Riverside County, we've always followed state guidance. If the state um, were to recommend um, the mask wearing indoors like uh, Los Angeles apparently has, um, that is something we would uh, review. Local doctors believe the Delta variant is already here in the Coachella Valley. For now, health experts say the best way to protect yourself from it is to get vaccinated. Riverside County will also only be releasing new data on the virus once a week on Wednesdays. And this comes as the state takes the time needed to review all the data to be as accurate as possible. It's now 608. More harrowing accounts of surviving the catastrophic gondo collapse are pouring in. We have the latest on search and rescue efforts there coming up. Kids, like everybody loves kids, regardless if you're related to them or not. Just a heartbreaking story here. It was news that shocked an East LA community earlier this week. And now the mother is accused of killing her own kids. We have details on this. But straight ahead, you're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. Shameful and criminal, and we ought to be embarrassed that we're allowing that to happen. Many Californians in need of unemployment money are weeks behind getting paid. Waiting for money that is due them. That's a problem. It's been a complete disaster. I didn't know what to do. I team investigator John White in depth on how EDD got so far behind. See what's being done to help those still struggling. Watch EDD debacle Thursday at 6 on News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. Body Deli, the must-see destination for organic raw beauty. Visit your nearest location today. Hi, I'm Dr. Sherry. And I'm Dr. Ray. Welcome to Cross Dental. At Cross Dental, you can expect the very latest in dental technology to enhance the high-quality dentistry you will receive and deserve. With over 30 years of combined experience, we dedicate ourselves on being the top dentist in the Valley. We specialize in cosmetic and implant services. Cross Dental will provide a customized treatment plan to meet your individual needs. Call today. Let Cross Dental be your smile specialist. I'm Z the Road Runner, and I like fast. That's why when it comes to buying or leasing a new car, truck, or SUV, Chavez Buick GMC is the place for me. At Chavez Buick GMC, they can't pass the best deals and huge savings on to you fast enough. If you prefer to shop online, ChavezBuickGMC.com is ultra fast. And when you need service, their service department gets your car back on the road fast. Be like me, Z, and hurry down to Chavez Buick GMC. The Body Deli, the must-see destination for organic raw beauty. Visit your nearest location today. This portion of news is brought to you by the Chevrolet Bolt at Jessup EV Territory. Experience Chevrolet's affordable electric car today at Jessup Chevrolet. Time is now 6-11. An East L.A. woman is now accused of murdering her three children. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department says Sandra Chico allegedly killed her two sons and daughter. The victims were all under four years old. No word yet on the causes of death. On Monday, authorities were called to Chico's house where all three children were declared dead at the scene. There was no uh, forewarning of any kind. There was no repeated calls for service. DCFS was not involved. There was no allegations of child abuse. This was out of the blue tragedy. The 28 year old is being held on $2 million bail ahead of her court appearance today. Well, 60 people have been charged with running a San Diego-based drug ring that sold meth around the country and in Australia.
Prosecutors say the network obtained the meth from Mexico's Sinaloa cartel and smuggled it across the border through cars and motorcycles. Agents showed off the dozens of guns and high power firearms seized in this operation. I think there's no doubt in anyone's mind that drug trafficking and gun possession go hand in hand because drug traffickers do not resort to legal means to settle disputes. Agents say that most of the 60 people who are accused are in custody. So dangerous. On well, time is now 612. More details are emerging about what may have caused the condo in Surfside, Florida to collapse. How the company responsible for maintaining the building is reacting coming up. The humidity is sticking around, but we're seeing a little more in the way of sunshine this morning, and that's a good sign, but it also could mean some convection thunderstorms later on this afternoon. That's part of our forecast as we head toward the holiday weekend. I've got it for you after the break here on News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. Stick with us. It is truly comforting to see neighborhood heroes rise in our communities. Doctors, nurses, all hardworking health care professionals. Our first responders and people going above and beyond to ensure food is available for us. News Channel 3 wants to say thank you to every hero working tirelessly to keep our residents safe. Coachella Valley. See a neighborhood hero we should recognize? Click to KESQ.com and nominate them today. Brought to you by Desert Air Conditioning. Endless fun. Endless sun. Endless savings. When you're cruising in a new Honda Civic. With the latest tech. And more power than Corolla. La vida es más divertida. Spring deals are going on now. So have some fun in a new Civic. For less, don't miss the savings. Hurry to your Coachella Valley Honda dealer today. I've travelled all over the country talking about saving with Geico, but that's the important bit, isn't it? Showing up, saying, hello, fancy a nice chat. And then we talk like two old friends about sticky buns and all the savings you could get by bundling your home and car insurance. But here's the real secret. Eye contact. Do you feel that? We just had a moment. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Geico. Save even more when you bundle home and car insurance. New Melgar windows are more affordable than you think and have a lifetime guarantee. But sissy, won't new windows cause stucco and drywall damage? No, brother. Melgar retro windows require no stucco or drywall damage to install. But sissy, won't new windows? No more buts, brother. Pick up the phone. Call our mommy and daddy today. We are the number one door and window company in the Coachella Valley. Just got vaccinated. COVID-19 vaccines are helping us get back to doing the things we love. With the people we love. They're safe and effective for everyone 12 and above. Make an appointment at myturn.ca.gov today. This portion of the news is brought to you by Esser Air Conditioning, powered by train. Esser technicians are not commissioned on repair parts. Yes, sir, it's Esser. It is now 6.15, time for your time saver traffic. Here's a look at our I-10 traffic camera in Indio right now. As you can see, traffic as usual, not a problem outside. That big rig pulled over on the side, though. No major incidents happening that we're aware of on the roads right now. Over on I-10, Caltrans continues repairs from Beaumont to Highway 111 this week. You can expect road work from 8th Street to the 111 interchange both ways. A number of on and off ramps will also be closed and banning westbound. In Indio, Indio Boulevard, Matteo Street, Clinton, Monroe, Burr, and Wildflower are all getting new asphalt. Crews will be out daily through July 12th. Residents and businesses will be notified not to park on those roads 72 hours ahead of any work. And Thousand Palms crews are repaving four miles of Varner and widening its shoulders. The two-month project runs between Monterey and Cook and Avenue 38 to Berkeley Drive. We have another Time Saver Traffic update coming up at 645. 
It's now 616. More bad news from Surfside, Florida. Nearly a week after a condo building suddenly collapsed in the middle of the night, trapping residents there. Yesterday, crews pulled another body from the rubble, bringing the death toll to 12. And still 149 people remain unaccounted for. The rescue work is being hampered further by bad weather and falling debris. As Faith Abube reports, President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are expected to visit with the first responders and victims' families in Surfside this week. This morning, three million pounds of concrete moved from the site of the Surfside building collapse, but countless millions more to dig through. Nobody's giving up hope here. Nobody's stopping. The work goes on full force. More than 200 crews at a time searching for victims, finding gut-wrenching images along the way. You find strollers and baby bottles, um, stuffed toys, you know, um, it's it just brings a sense of reality to to the moment. As victims' families wait in anguish for updates, ABC News confirming this letter was sent to residents just this April, warning that damage to the collapsed building's basement garage had gotten, quote, significantly worse since a 2018 inspection. The condo association now facing lawsuits, alleging it should have acted sooner and with more urgency. There were clear, not just warning signs, but alarm bells ringing for years about the state of this condo and and the appropriate steps weren't taken to protect human life. Meantime, more horrifying accounts from residents who ran for their lives the night of the collapse. Sharon Schechter on CNN. I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was in a nightmare. I looked straight ahead to an apartment. I knew I knew the couple well and I see a door open and I don't see an apartment. I just started going down fast. And I feel crack, crack, crack. The life to, to death. Three seconds. And the condo association says it cannot comment on pending litigation. In the meantime, prosecutors say they plan to ask a grand jury to investigate the collapse. In Miami Beach, Faith Abube, ABC News. Well, new national data shows a significant increase in injuries and deaths due to fireworks during this pandemic. A Consumer Product Safety Commission report says at least 18 people died last year compared to 12 in 2019. More than 15,000 people were treated in emergency rooms. That's up 10,000 from the year before. At a backyard barbecue in 2015, a mortar shell changed one man's life in an instant. I lost uh, my pinky, I lost my ring finger, the tip of my middle finger, and my thumb from my left hand. On my right hand, I lost my index finger and the tip of my middle finger and damaged my thumb. Yeah, backyard fireworks just not worth those missing fingers. Authorities say eight of those 18 deaths were from someone who was drinking alcohol or using drugs. Experts say never let kids use fireworks, including sparklers. Also, never try to light or pick up a firework that's malfunctioning and keep a hose nearby. Keep all of this in mind before the 4th of July. Well, automakers must now report any crashes involving self-driving vehicles. The National Highway Tra Traffic Safety Administration wants the data to better identify safety issues and likely to set new regulations for the growing technology. Car makers will have 24 hours to report a crash and details of the incident. This includes what the system was doing at the time, any injuries and any property damage that occurred. If you think your city has the worst traffic, you might be right, but only if you live around New York. Betting none of you guys live around New York. Traffic there is officially the worst, according to the Texas A&M Transportation Institute's annual report. That's based on time stuck in gridlock and extra fuel consumption in 2020. Los Angeles had held the congestion crown for years, but the pandemic has changed all that. It's also reduced traffic overall, and the Institute predicts working from home might inspire less commuting in the long term. Good to hear. Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. Lots of humidity and still some shower activity up in the high desert. Uh, we are going to keep an eye on the humidity factor throughout the day. 
A little bit of cloud cover, but a little more in the way of blue skies out there this morning, and that's a welcome change. There are still some spotty showers in the mountain communities as well as you head up in the mountains of San Bernardino up around Big Bear, stretching into the high desert Victorville area. And this batch of showers now thinning out, working its way east of 29 Palms. So it's been an active morning and overnight. There were some pretty good showers up in the uh, Mojave. We could certainly use the rain here in the Coachella Valley and all across Southern California. Our drought conditions continue to worsen. Uh, but a little bit of rain just in the general area is good news. Uh, we still have heat problems up north, but they're starting to thin out. The heat wave beginning to break a little bit. And for us, only 103 yesterday, actually below average because of the humidity in the atmosphere. Didn't feel all real great out there with all that humidity. We've continued to cool off a little bit this morning. We're in the lower 80s across the board. In fact, some upper 70s showing up now, thermal in Mecca. So it feels a little better out there. It's still very thick in terms of humidity. The winds have been changing direction. We're seeing more of a northerly flow this morning as that area of low pressure starts to pull away a little bit, and that's what's causing the moisture to slide a little farther to the east over toward Havasu. It hasn't really thinned out the dew points at all, as a matter of fact. Uh, dew points here in the valley still in the low 60s, so the frizz factor is going to be an uh, obvious situation today. Future dew points do start to dry out as we head into tonight and tomorrow. And that's pretty good news. I don't think we're going to get any real significant relief until late on the day, uh, Thursday into Friday. Future cast data does show the cloud cover I'm working its way slowly eastward. Still, a good bit of moisture up to our north as well. So the opportunity for thunderstorms still exists, less likely, but there could be a potential for some spotty showers around the region through tomorrow into the early afternoon before we dry out as we head into the holiday weekend. Our temperatures today up around 105. If we get a little more sunshine, we can move that to 107. Uh, again, we're keeping an eye on the humidity factor because when we heat up, you get convection that causes thunderstorms. So that is a possibility today. Up to about 107 tomorrow. 108 on Friday for the weekend, close to 110, a lot drier for Saturday and Sunday. And of course, Friday, Bagduma Park, Coachella, they'll be having fireworks at 9 o'clock. Agua Caliente Casino in Rancho Mirage fireworks on Sunday, the 4th of July. Angela. Yeah, Palm Desert will have some too. Should be fun. Thank you, Patrick. It's now 623. A Connecticut grandmother had baseball dreams that were forever dashed by her favorite team six decades ago. Or so she thought. We have a look at the surprise of her lifetime coming up. You're watching the Desert's News Leader. The 4th of July sales spectacular is going on now at the I-10 Auto Mall. Don't miss our red hot 4th of July deals on every pre-owned and certified pre-owned vehicle in stock. The I-10 Auto Mall is less than 15 minutes away from anywhere in the desert. Visit us today at the I-10 Auto Mall for red hot 4th of July deals. This summer at the Palm Springs Public Library, we're working to keep kids engaged with our summer reading program. When kids read throughout the summer, they are set up for success, both when returning to school and throughout their lives. We're here to remind kids that reading can be fun. Here at the Palm Springs Public Library, kids can earn prizes while expanding their minds and growing their love of books. Visit us online at pslibrary.org or come in in person to help your child on their journey to reading success. You sure, right? Yes. Blackouts are coming to California. Dad, fold it like this. Let me see. You know, Grandma's secret was to pinch it up. What? And after this past year, it's the last thing we need. Um. Wait, oh no. With the right technology, we have the power to end blackouts. Ohm Connect is providing Californians with up to 1 million free smart thermostats. Register and get your free smart thermostat at ncablackouts.com. Did you know that your overall health can be affected by your oral health? Dr. Christian Lazar specializes in total mouth rehabilitation using state-of-the-art implant techniques that can restore your teeth in just one day. Dr. Lazar's Teeth Express is specifically designed to use the best products available to ensure the best long-lasting results. Call us today and let us design a customized treatment plan for your dental health. Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. 
The 4th of July sales spectacular is going on now at the I-10 Auto Mall. Don't miss our red-hot 4th of July deals on every pre-owned and certified pre-owned vehicle in stock. Celebrate with red-hot deals and colossal savings on thousands of vehicles. Visit us today at the I-10 Auto Mall for red-hot 4th of July deals. Closed captioning brought to you by Brad Schmidt Real Estate Group. Call the agent with the strongest marketing plan and years of proven results. Exclusively endorsed by Barbara Corcoran. Well, the Big Apple has a new Batgirl. Gwen Goldman dreamed of this since she was 10 years old when general manager then Roy Hammy denied her a chance in the dugout. Hammy wrote in a letter, quote, in a game dominated by men, a young lady such as yourself would feel out of place in a dugout. Well, she kept that letter for 60 years and then her daughter decided to send a copy of it to the team this year. Well, the current general manager invited the 70 year old to suit up and be the honorary Batgirl and throw the first pitch. What, what was going through your mind when you stepped out onto the diamond? I wish I had practiced my throwing so I could have thrown some better balls. Hey, it's a lesson. Never give up on your dreams. And as Yogi Berra once said, it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, maybe 60 years in the making, but she finally got there and got to be the back girl. And Patrick, she even has her own theme song. Which is? You know, na 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 No, that's Batman's <laughs> okay. theme song. You were humming it. You know, I thought we were giving her a theme song. No, <laughs> whole different story. Yogi Bear also said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. Think about that for a couple of minutes. <laughs> That'll keep you busy during the commercial break. We are watching for more humidity and maybe a few thunderstorms popping up this afternoon. We dry out for the weekend. Your forecast is on the way. Angela has the latest headlines. This is the Desert's News Leader News Channel 3. When wind, wildfire, rain, and extreme temperatures threaten, you'll be ready. Your first alert weather team will issue a first alert weather alert. With this graphic on your seven day forecast and alerts from our app and our newscast, you'll know when and what to watch for. We're taking action to make sure you're prepared every day and every newscast. The desert's most experienced weather team with the information you need. First alert weather alerts only on News Channel 3, the desert's news and weather leader. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I've never been more ready in my life. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> oh. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. Come experience the bed of the future at Mathis Brothers in Telebed. With revolutionary new gel matrix technology, it's both firm and soft at the same time. It dynamically adapts to your body, giving you maximum comfort and support. And going on right now, save up to $1,000 off Intellibed mattresses. Plus, get 72-month no-interest financing and free delivery straight to your door. Don't miss your chance to save up to $1,000 off Intellibed. Going on now at Mathis Brothers. BOK Locksmith is the Coachella Valley's go-to place for automotive, residential, and commercial locks and safes. With emergency mobile service available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and now with a brand new location and a bigger showroom. Come visit us on Varner Road near Washington and I-10. Trust BOK for fast and reliable car key replacement at a fraction of what a dealer would charge. We are family owned and operated. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Janelle. And, and remember, remember, you will always be OK with BOK Locksmith. Why choose Stephen Powell as your real estate agent? Because Stephen Powell can save you thousands when listing your home. Stephen has created a one-of-a-kind real estate marketing and representation system that allows you to save thousands in realtor fees without sacrificing service. Hi, I'm Stephen Powell. If your home is worth $900,000, you will save $18,000 in commission. That's your 33% from me to you. Call today. Are you ready to make junk disappear? I've never been more ready in my life. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. <laughs> oh. Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. We'll be there before you hang up the phone. This portion of the news is brought to you by Newell Taylor Accounting. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader. This is News Channel 3 in the morning. The 4th of July is just around the corner. Do you know how to handle a frantic pet in the middle of a fireworks show? We have best practices to keep them comfortable coming up in a live report. And the pressure is on to bring more federal dollars to help the Salton Sea. We have more on a bill headed up by local Congressman Ruiz and just how much money might be heading to the drying lake. That's just ahead.
Very good morning to you. I'm Angela Chen. It is 631 this Wednesday, June 30th. Let's get to our weather right now. It was muggy yesterday. What's it going to be like today? Patrick Evans has the answer. Uh, we're still going to be muggy today. That hasn't really changed. We're not seeing dew points move very much. The humidity is still quite high, but we are seeing more in the way of sunshine. Cloud cover is starting to slide a little bit farther to the east. This system moving just a little bit. 84 degrees, but the, what hasn't moved our relative humidity number 46%. Winds coming in out of the northwest at eight now. Typically, a northwesterly breeze does start to dry us out, so that gives us a little bit of hope. There was a good bit of shower activity. You still see it. It is working its way slowly eastward toward Havasu. Uh, it was raining this morning in 29 Palms and just north thereof, but that uh, has shifted now down. It's in the eastern edge. You know, you go out here, you're in the very far eastern portion of Joshua Tree. Couple of spotty showers. It's showing up as more rain, I think, than is actually reaching the ground, but we welcome the rainfall. Cloud cover also pulling out a little bit. We're going to see more sunshine, so we should be a little warmer today. Yesterday, only 103. Today, more likely 105 to 107, uh, depending on how much sunshine we get. Humidity still thick. It's still very sticky out there. That's going to last through tomorrow afternoon and evening. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a couple of minutes. All right, thanks, Patrick. Time now is 632. The 4th of July is on Sunday. Hope you're ready for it. Not only should you be looking out, though, for your furry friend's safety in the heat, but also as those fireworks go off. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez joins us live from Palm Desert with more on how you can protect your pets who may be afraid this upcoming weekend. Hey, Crystal, perfect location. You're at a dog park. It is, and I mean, I've been trying to play with the dogs, but they're too busy enjoying each other. But we're at the Freedom Dog Park, and it, this is a where people come, get their exercise on, bring out their dogs, especially ahead of the heat. Now look at these cute pups. It's a nice temperature for them to be out here enjoying themselves. We have to worry about the heat when it comes to our pets since they're susceptible to heat illnesses just like us. But also 4th of July is coming up. The Palm Springs Animal Shelter says this is notably the most stressful day for pets and the busiest for the shelter as those fireworks go off in celebration. Pay close attention to your pet. We always recommend making sure that your perimeters are secure, your gates are locked, your fences are um, fastened. To help, the shelter is hosting a free microchipping event Friday for dogs and cats. These chips will be available to be scanned at select police stations, PetSmart, Petco, the vet, or any animal shelter. This could help those pets that do get out return to their homes. On the 4th, leave your pet indoors, close those curtains, and turn on the radio or TV to soften the loud noises coming from outdoors. You can even create a hiding spot for your pet to feel more at ease. And so again, here are these cute, this is Bruno and what was their name again? Bruno and Pablo. Let's see who wants to play fetch. Who, who says this? <laughs> Let's see, ready? <laughs> oh, both of them want to. All right, Angela, we're reporting in Palm Desert, Chris Jimenez, News Channel 3. So those guys are smart. They brought them out early, get them tuckered out early on in the day. Then they're chill. They're just relaxing the rest of this hot, hot day. Good boys, too, playing fetch. Thank you, Crystal, for that report. All right, time now is 634. As families prepare to celebrate Independence Day this weekend, fire and police agencies throughout Riverside County are preparing for a busy night. They are encouraging residents to learn about several ways to report fireworks, illegal fireworks, without calling 911. We get a number of calls, thousands, and it becomes very difficult to sift through the severity of the fireworks that are happening out there. The county is reminding its residents that fireworks and the sale of fireworks are prohibited in its unincorporated areas in most of the Coachella Valley. The Sheriff's Department is encouraging people to submit reports of fireworks online on its website unless you believe there's an immediate danger to the public, in which case, of course, call 911. Well, local Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz is urging Congress to provide help for the Salton Sea. He testified in front of the House Natural Resources Committee yesterday to support his Salton Sea Project's improvement bill. It would help federal agencies partner with state and local governments on projects at the Salton Sea to avert an environmental disaster. The result of inaction at the Salton Sea will be severe. The Pacific Institute has measured the economic impact in action at over $70 billion in devalued property and other metrics. 
The congressman says the Bureau of Reclamation has reached its spending cap on projects to help the Salton Sea. Well, this bill would authorize another $250 million in additional funding for those projects. Ruiz's bill would have to pass would have to pass through the committee before it can get a full vote through Congress. Ruiz is also joining other representatives in calling for Congress to pass the Invest in America Act. It's a bill that's separate from the bipartisan deal being promoted by President Biden. The Invest in America Act includes more than $500 billion for rebuilding roads, transit, and drinking water infrastructure. It also includes $20 million to finish the Monroe Street Interchange Project in Indio, but a lot of you see that every day. Well, this vote is going to be put up for a vote in the House of Representatives later this week, the bill that is. All right, well, a new committee is being formed in Riverside County to stop the rise in the use of fentanyl. The committee will be comprised of several agencies, including the Social Services Department, Sheriff's Department, and Emergency Management, among others. They will look at ways to deter the use of fentanyl and get funding from federal and state grants. District Attorney Mike Hestron says the county is on pace to see up to 500 fentanyl deaths this year. Deaths stemming from the drug have doubled every year in Riverside County since 2015. It's now 6.37. A leg injury in London has forced tennis superstar Serena Williams to withdraw from Wimbledon. How she's responding to the outpouring of support coming up. And I'd be very proud if you would agree to marry me. And sad news to report. The soap opera world is we're saying goodbye to a long-running General Hospital actor. We have a look back at Stuart Damon's career straight ahead. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. Shameful and criminal, and we ought to be embarrassed that we're allowing that to happen. Many Californians in need of unemployment money are weeks behind getting paid. Waiting for money that is due them, that's a problem. It's been a complete disaster. I didn't know what to do. I-Team investigator John White, in-depth on how EDD got so far behind. See what's being done to help those still struggling. Watch EDD debacle, Thursday at 6 on News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. The 4th of July sale spectacular is going on now at the I-10 Auto Mall. Don't miss our red-hot 4th of July deals on every pre-owned and certified pre-owned vehicle in stock. The I-10 Auto Mall is less than 15 minutes away from anywhere in the desert. Visit us today at the I-10 Auto Mall for red-hot 4th of July deals. Now more than ever, Desert Arc is poised to serve our community during these challenging times. Desert Arc Shredding Division provides essential and secure shredding services for businesses and residents. Currently, we provide a COVID-compliant curbside service at our Indio facility, where you can drive up, drop off, and pay, all while never leaving your vehicle. Whether you have a truckload or one of our special prepaid seal and shred bags, come by Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and shred it and forget it. Mattress Showroom's 4th of July mattress sale is on now. Get the biggest mattress savings of the year. Save up to 70%. Get a Sealy Posturepedic. Save big. Explosive savings on Stearns and Foster. Or save up to $500 on a Tempur-Pedic. Save up to 70% during Mattress Showroom's 4th of July mattress sale. Our prices are the lowest guaranteed. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Sleep on it tonight. News Channel 3 and the Burger Foundation are proud to present the Coachella Valley Spotlight. Every month, we recognize an organization making a difference in our community. This month, we highlight Mama's House, which is a safe home providing educational support for pregnant moms and moms with infants who are in crisis. Upon exiting the program, they face a brighter future. To learn more, visit KESQ.com and click on Coachella Valley Spotlight. News Channel 3's Coachella Valley Spotlight and the Burger Foundation, improving lives, strengthening our community. The 4th of July sale spectacular is going on now at the I-10 Auto Mall. Don't miss our red-hot 4th of July deals on every pre-owned and certified pre-owned vehicle in stock. Celebrate with red-hot deals and colossal savings on thousands of vehicles. Visit us today at the I-10 Auto Mall for red-hot 4th of July deals. This portion of news is brought to you by the Chevrolet Bolt at Jessup EV Territory. Experience Chevrolet's affordable electric car today at Jessup Chevrolet. It's now 640. The tennis world is stunned by the sudden exit of Serena Williams at Wimbledon. As Megan Tavrizian reports, the 39-year-old mom is on a mission to keep breaking records in her sport, and she's now speaking out about her setback. 
This morning, superstar Serena Williams is out of Wimbledon after slipping on the grass, injuring her hamstring. During her first match, Williams slipping as she changed direction. Sliding a little bit there. Her injury forcing her to take a medical timeout before returning with a limp. Then, 34 minutes into her first set, she falls, crying out in pain. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. The 39-year-old champ in tears after being forced to withdraw. That's it. She's given it everything. Later writing on Instagram that she's heartbroken, but saying, My love and gratitude are with the fans and the team who make being on center court so meaningful. Feeling the extraordinary warmth and support of the crowd. Fellow athletes reacting. Coco Goff saying she was also slipping and sliding on the court. No one's really used to moving it because the season is so short. So people are bound to have slips and falls. Um, but yeah, with Serena, it was hard for me to, to watch that. You know, I'm a big, big fan of her, even though I'm a competitor now, but she's the reason why I started to play tennis. Roger Federer in disbelief while acknowledging the slippery conditions. You do have to move very, very carefully out there. And if you push too hard in the wrong moments, you do go down. This is obviously terrible. Williams' injury is a setback in her quest to reach a record tying 24th Grand Slam title. The question now, will she be able to play at the U.S. Open later this summer? Roger Federer's opponent also slipped on the grass and was forced to withdraw due to injury. Megan Tavrizian, ABC News, San Diego. Yeah, you could almost feel her pain as you watch her kneel on that court. Hope she recovers soon and well. Time is now 642. Wimbledon, though, not the only court seeing a lot of action coming up. We'll take a look at a local summer camp returning to make kids into their own tennis stars. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. Don't panic. Do you hear that? Stand up. That is not a sound effect. And run! Potosaurus is coming! That's brutal. People pay top dollar for this mud <laughs> treatment. New Holy Moly, Thursday on ABC. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200, and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures, like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call or go to dentalnow.com to see how easy it is to to save on dental bills. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader. This is News Channel 3 in the morning with Jeff Stahl, Angela Chen, and meteorologist Patrick Evans. Whoops. <laughs> Mute. As I was saying, come celebrate Bob's 30th anniversary this 4th of July weekend. We're celebrating big time with the reopening of our famous cafes and Bob's discount furniture stores coast to coast. Stocked up with candy, cookies, and ice cream for the whole family. All absolutely free. And of course, get Bob's discount on living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, mattresses, and more. With thousands of in-stock items ready to ship to your door. Plus, my outfits are packed with furniture you can take home today. Join the fun this 4th of July weekend in store and at mybobs.com. The desert's largest selection of new and certified pre-owned vehicles is at the Cathedral City Auto Center. There's a huge selection, over 2,000 vehicles, 16 different manufacturers, including the all-new Schottenkirk Desert Lexus. And they're all at one place. At the Cathedral City Auto Center, you'll get incredible trade-in values and the Valley's best prices. That's why you should shop at the Cathedral City Auto Center, because you'll always pay less. And you can shop online at MyDesertAutos.com. This portion of the news is brought to you by Esser Air Conditioning, powered by train. Esser technicians are not commissioned on repair parts. Yes, sir, it's Esser. 
645, time for your time saver traffic. Here's a live look at our I-10 traffic camera in India right now. Traffic, as you can see, not really a problem outside. That big rig is still parked on the side there. All right, we do have a traffic alert for you in Palm Desert specifically. Firefighters are at Washington and Country Club Drive for a crash. One child was taken to the hospital, so prepare to slow down in that area as they investigate. Some projects to tell you about now on I-10. Caltrans continues repairs from Beaumont to Highway 111 this week. You can expect road work from 8th Street to the 111 interchange both ways. A number of on and off ramps will also be closed in Banning westbound. In India, Wendell Boulevard, Matteo Street, Clinton, Monroe, Burr and Wildflower are all getting new asphalt. Crews will be out daily through July 12th. Residents and businesses will be notified not to park on those roads 72 hours ahead of any work. And in Thousand Palms, crews are repaving four miles of Varner and widening its shoulders. This two-month project runs between Monterey and Cook, as you can see, and Avenue 38 to Berkeley Drive. We've got your time saver traffic every Monday through Friday at 615 and 645. Now 646, the former Tennis Hall of Famer and a Palm Desert Country Club are teaming up to get children back outdoors again like it was before the pandemic. And they're teaching some tennis skills by hosting a summer camp. It sounds fun. News Channel 3's Crystal Jimenez has more about this opportunity. All right, good job, guys. Come on, slow and slow. Stretch it out. It provides opportunities for them. Tennis uh, is a great sport. It's a, uh, you know, a lifetime sport. Kids are returning to their normal routine. Part two, get a nice warm up. When summer camp is giving four to 17 year olds a chance to learn from former Hall of Famer Rosie Casals alongside other great coaches. We provide them with the tools and then they, they could take it wherever they would like to take it. Tennis, an individual centric sport is what some of the camp members say attracted them. Most sports like basketball or soccer are kind of team focused. And so when something goes wrong, you blame, you can blame other people, but when something goes wrong in tennis, you could really only blame yourself. While the pandemic prevented children from playing most sports, that's when another camp member says tennis became appealing. Well, I was playing soccer and I love soccer, then it shut down and now I'm in tennis. It's not super dependent on everyone else that it's more like me playing, not everyone else. The tennis camp is running two sessions through August where golf will then be added to the mix. We had to be really creative of getting people out here and, and still being active. All in an effort to get children back outdoors into the love of sports once again. Reporting in Palm Desert, Crystal Menes, News Channel 3.